What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be comparing the Line 6 Helix Floor with the Line 6 Helix LT, the similarities and the differences. Let's jump right into it. So the first major differences are the ins and the outputs. So this is the Helix LT, all of the inputs and outputs. And just by looking at it, when you compare it to the Helix Floor, there's just a ton more outputs to work with. So let's say you're a, uh, a studio person and you want to be able to have a ton of different outputs. Maybe you want to send um, like a wet dry signal um, to your DAW or maybe you have just a ton of extra pedals that you want to have in different effects loops. You have a lot more sends and returns on the Helix Floor versus the Helix LT. Now most guitar players are gonna be absolutely okay with the Helix LT setup. You've got basically one stereo send and one stereo return. And you have your same XLR outputs, you have your MIDI, your USB, quarter inch outputs are still there. So on the Helix LT, you've got basically one quarter inch guitar input and two quarter inch returns. Whereas the Helix Floor, you've got an XLR mic input, which is nice if you want to run uh, a microphone into that or even any other type of like XLR input to your Helix. And then obviously you've got the guitar input, but then on the Helix Floor, you also have an aux input. Maybe you have another instrument, maybe an acoustic guitar or maybe something else you want to plug into it and then you have four quarter inch returns instead of the two. So going back to the LT, on the output side of things you have two XLR outputs and two quarter inch outputs, those should be the same on both units. And then you have two quarter inch sends, whereas on the Helix you have digital outputs, whereas on the Helix LT you don't have any digital outputs um, other than uh, the USB output, which I'll go over later. And then the analog outputs, you've got two XLRs, which is the same, two quarter inches, and then four sends. So you have a little bit more room to work with as far as your sends and returns. So both the LT and the Floor have a Variax input. If you have a Variax Line 6 guitar, you can plug that right into and get some um, really cool features out of that. So the USB is still the same, headphone quarter inch is still the same. When I jump down to the other ins and outs, at the bottom, the Helix Floor allows you to have three expression pedals versus the two expression pedals on the LT. So you do lose out on one of the expression pedals. So one of the huge differences between the Helix Floor and the Helix LT is the use of the scribble strips. I think that's the most discussed topic between the LT and the Helix Floor. I've actually had the privilege of using both of these. So I actually play at church. And what I recently started doing was I'll create my presets at home with my Helix Floor. And then I'll show up to rehearsal and I'll bring my laptop and I'll export my patches at home. I'll dial in like the BPMs and stuff. That's kind of how I run through things. So I basically have a baseline patch and then I run all the BPMs so that just so that they're exact and I don't have to tap anything. And then I'll bring my computer, my laptop, and then I literally just have to plug it into the church it has their own Helix, but it's the Helix LT. I personally own a Helix floor. They have an LT, I plug right into there. So if you're just getting started with using the Helix, the scribble strips are a game changer, but over time you really do start to memorize where your pedals are at. Um, if you're used to loading other people's patches and using other third-party patches and you're not really used to the layout of where your different stops are and things like that, it does help to have the scribble strips on there. Some people get super creative with them. Some people even write chord progressions in their scribble strips if they need a reminder. Um, there's really a lot of different things you can do with it. You can customize it and even give yourself little notes, even if it's if you already know where your pedals are and things like that, where your different stops are. So we're over here looking at the Helix LT. As you can see, we lose the scribble strips, even up top, the top right where the expression pedal is, we lose that scribble strip. Now it's just a green and a red light for your expression one and two. So line six with the Helix LT, they added another window since you lose the scribble strips. On the top left, you can see there's a home button where underneath there's a view uh, icon to where you can click on that. And actually the first view is just the same as the Helix Floor. You can see your, your stomps and you can see your signal chain. 
If you click that, the second view is actually going to be just a bunch of bubbles and it's going to mirror what you have down below on your stomp buttons. It'll show the same colors, but it'll also show and reflect what you have written where um, it'll, it'll tell you what you have written down where the scribble strips would be. Um, so that would be up at the top, but the only downside is it does cover up your signal chain if you like looking at your signal chain and seeing um, uh, what is turned on and what is turned off. So you have to almost kind of compromise and pick which view you like best. Personally, I actually like still using the signal like stomp view and I can see all my signal chain. I actually kind of have where all my pedals are. I have them kind of memorized at this point. So I still like looking at my effects chain and seeing what's on at a glance, you know, across the board. So you'll notice on the Helix floor, the bank buttons, you can actually assign those to be two extra stomp buttons. Whereas on the Helix LT, you actually can't do that. So you only have eight buttons total. Another thing you lose out on on the Helix LT is there is no headphone volume knob. Some people like having a headphone volume knob on their Helix, but if that's a game changer for you, then I would consider getting the Helix Floor. So probably the most important thing that I wanna talk about between these two boards is the build quality of the expression pedal. If you look at the expression pedal on the Helix Floor, it's super thick and the build quality is just, it just feels way sturdier. Whereas if you look at the Helix LT, it's like super thin and you can actually, it's like a little piece of rubber that's over top and it's like a super thin piece of metal. Whereas on the Helix floor, you've got this giant, you know, almost sandpapery, you know, pedal and it's super thick where I feel like if you like to ride your volume pedal and use that as a expression pedal, I could totally see that the Helix LT expression pedal will wear out faster than the Helix floor. So there are actually slight differences in the dimensions and the weight of these two units. The Helix LT is actually 1.19 inches smaller than the Helix floor. So the Helix floor is 22 inches and the Helix LT is around 21 inches. So you do, if you like the little bit more compact feel to it, but the main difference is in the weight. The Helix floor is two pounds heavier than the Helix LT. And I actually noticed this because my worship leader let me bring his Helix home because um, it needed some updates. So I brought it home, updated it, and then um, made some adjustments, adjustments to the expression pedal and things like that because it was too tight. But when I actually put it in the same case that I carry my Helix floor, I did notice the difference in weight. So if you want something that's a little bit lighter, go with the Helix LT. Another thing that I did notice about the Helix LT is that the actual display is more towards the middle of the unit. If you compare it to the Helix floor, it's more towards the left. So if you like something that's a little bit more towards the middle, it makes a little bit more sense, I guess, to have it more um, in the middle of your board. So one thing I did notice about the design of the Helix floor versus the Helix LT is the Helix floor has rounded edges. There's no like rubber on the side of them. It's like, it's like straight up metal. So, and it can be slippery. What I notice is like, if I'm, let's say if I'm playing um, a show, maybe opening for somebody and I want to quick do a changeover, like, I don't know if I would trust somebody else coming in and just like snatching it up really quickly. I feel like when you compare the rounded edges of the Helix floor to the Helix LT, there's actually more of like a rubber um, side on the Helix LT and it's also squared off. So I feel like just like quickly bending down and grabbing it, it's like, I feel like it's way easier and I have to think about it less. When I go to like grab it, I feel way more confident with the squared edges than the rounded edges because I feel like it's, it's kind of more slippery on the sides. So this pretty much goes without saying the Helix LT and the Helix Floor are basically the same as far as sound quality goes. There's really no difference as far as that. It's mainly a cosmetic change so that Line 6 can make the Helix Floor a little bit cheaper. And the sound quality is exactly the same. I haven't noticed any differences between the two units. So besides the price difference, I can think of a couple different scenarios that you would use the Helix Floor versus the Helix LT and vice versa. The Helix Floor is more so, I would say, use it for a studio environment. If you need a lot of outputs, inputs, the Helix Floor is great for that. You can plug in multiple different instruments and run them through at the same time. 
and even you know track you can perform that way as well so if you're a touring musician or you play at church on the weekends i would argue that you can just go with the helix lt it's as far as like from having experience of playing shows and and going on tour and having you know other people you know grab your equipment or even pack up your equipment the helix lt having a a cheaper price point I feel a little bit more comfortable with, you know, throwing it around and having it, you know, constantly taking it in and out of cases and throwing it down and, you know, opening for people, grabbing it quickly. I just feel a little bit safer about grabbing a, the Helix LT versus, you know, having other people or just being in a hurry with the Helix floor just because it just feels more expensive as well. And for the same like sound quality and everything, it's, it's really perfect for just plugging in and going. I personally don't have a ton of um, other external pedals that I want to run through the effects loop. So just the normal four cable method, stereo effects loop is perfect for me. Well, this concludes my similarities and differences video of the Helix LT and the Helix Floor. And actually, I really wanna know your thoughts, which is actually better, the Helix Floor or the Helix LT, and what other types of scenarios can you think of of which would be better? Also, if you're in the buying mood for a Helix, HX Stomp, Pod Go, or HX Effects, feel free to check out my third-party patches once you pick up your Line 6 unit, and hopefully that will help you get started and get you acquainted with your new unit. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you in the next video.